Peppa Pig, Peppa and the Flying Vet Peppa has brought Goldie the fish to the vet for a checkup. You've got a healthy fish, Peppa, says Dr. Hamster. Thank you, says Peppa. <coughs> Suddenly, Dr. Hamster's telephone rings. It is Mr. Elephant. Hello, Dr. Hamster, he says. We found a sick lizard in the mountains. It, it's a gecko, not a lizard, adds Edmund Elephant. <laughs> I'll be right there, says Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster springs into action. Can we come too? asks Peppa. <laughs> of course, replies the vet. All aboard the aeroplane. I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr. Hamster, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> oh yes, replies Dr. Hamster proudly. I'm the flying vet. Mr. Elephant spots the aeroplane in the sky. Thank goodness, he exclaims. The vet is here. When Dr. Hamster lands, she calls. Where's the sick lizard? This poor lizard is upside down, says Dr. Hamster, flipping it over. There, he's all better. Then Dr. Hamster's mobile phone rings. This must be another emergency, she says, answering the call. Hello, Grandpa Pig here, says Grandpa Pig. It's Polly, she's sick. I'll be right there, promises Dr. Hamster. So Peppa, George and Mummy Pig jump back into the aeroplane. Look, Polly, it's the flying vet, <coughs> cries Grandpa Pig when he sees the airplane. We're going into the sea, cries Peppa. This is a seaplane, Peppa, says Dr. Hamster. We can land on the water. Polly has been ill since we got on board, explains Grandpa Pig. She must be seasick, says Dr. Hamster. And when Grandpa Pig puts Polly on dry land, she soon feels much better. <coughs> Dr. Hamster's mobile phone rings again. It is Daddy Pig in his office. There are some ducklings stuck on our roof, says Daddy Pig. You're just in time, says Daddy Pig. Mrs. Duck laid her eggs on our roof, says Mrs. Cat. Yeah. And they hatched, adds Mr. Rabbit. But the ducklings don't know the way to the pond. <coughs> Who can make a quacking noise, asks Dr. Hamster. Quack, quack, <coughs> says Peppa, and the ducklings follow her back to the pond. <coughs> Dr. Hamster's phones rings for a fourth time. Is it another emergency? asked Peppa hopefully. <coughs> yes, that was Mr. Hamster, says Dr. Hamster. I'm late for tea. Must fly. Thanks for your help, everyone cries, waving her off in her airplane. No problem. Dr. Hamster calls. It's all in a day's work for the flying vet. The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's busy day. It is seven o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the seven. At seven o'clock in the morning, Peppa wakes up. Time to get up, George, cries Peppa. <coughs> it is eight o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the eight. At eight o'clock, Peppa has breakfast. Yummy, says Peppa. 
Can I have some more, please? <coughs> it is nine o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the nine. At nine o'clock, Peppa and George go to playgroup. <coughs> Dinosaur, says George. <coughs> it is twelve o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the twelve. <laughs> At twelve o'clock, Madame Gazelle takes everyone for a picnic lunch. I love picnics, says Peppa. <laughs> it is two o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the two. At two o'clock, Mammy and Daddy Pig pick up Peppa and George in their car. Toot toot! <coughs> it is three o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the three. <coughs> At three o'clock, Peppa and George go to the playground. Swing time! shouts Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit. <coughs> It's six o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the six. At six o'clock, it's time for dinner. Pancakes! Cheers, Peppa. They're my favourite. It is seven o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the seven. At seven o'clock, Peppa and George get ready for bed. Time to scrub and brush, says Peppa. <coughs> it is eight o'clock. Move the big hand to the twelve and the little hand to the eight. <sighs> At eight o'clock, it's bedtime. Mammy and Daddy Pig come in to say goodnight. But... <sighs> Peppa and George are fast asleep. The End Peppa Goes Camping Today, Peppa and George are very excited. They are going on holiday. Daddy Pig has a surprise. <coughs> it's a camper van, grunts Daddy Pig. Wow! gasps Peppa and George. We're going on a holiday, sings Peppa. We're going on a holiday in our camper van. <coughs> hmm, says Daddy Pig, looking at the map. Daddy Pig? cries Mammy Pig. Are we lost? Well, er... Uh, begins Daddy Pig. Yes. Grandad Dog and Danny Dog arrive. Hello! Calls out Peppa. We're lost. Lost? Asks Grandad Dog, confused. Is your sat-nav broken? Peppa George Mummy and Daddy Pig don't know what a sat-nav is. Sat-nav is a computer that helps you find your way, <coughs> explains Grandad Dog. <coughs> Welcome to the car of the future, <coughs> leaps the sat-nav. Can you tell us where to go? <coughs> asks Peppa. Go straight. <coughs> replies the sat -nav. Daddy Pig thanks Grandad Dog and the family continue on their way. We're going on a holiday, sings Peppa. We're going on holiday in our camper van. <laughs> Suddenly the camper van is low on oil, but Daddy Pig can't find the engine. 
Mommy Sheep and Susie Sheep arrive in their car. Hello, Susie, cries Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? <coughs> replies Mummy Sheep. I don't know a thing about engines, <coughs> says Mummy Sheep, but I'll have a look. <coughs> I'm probably wrong, but this looks like an engine, <coughs> says Mummy Sheep, lifting the boot. <coughs> well spotted, Mummy Sheep, <coughs> gasped Daddy Pig, pouring oil into the engine. Daddy Pig thanks Mummy Sheep, and the family are off again. Are we nearly there yet? asked Peppa, sighing. <sighs> Just up the next hill, says the satnav. <laughs> you have reached your destination, says the satnav when they get to the top of a steep hill. <laughs> Hooray! Everyone cheers. <laughs> Time for bed, says Mummy Pig. Peppa and George put on their pyjamas. But where will we sleep? asked Peppa. Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed, says Daddy Pig, pressing a button. Ta-da! A lovely big bed appears in the room. And you two will sleep upstairs, like you always do says Mummy Pig. Watch this, says Daddy Pig, pressing another button. <coughs> Suddenly the camper van's roof lifts up and a bunk bed appears. <coughs> Daddy Pig tucks Peppa and George into bed. The camper van is just like our little house, says Peppa. Good night, everyone, says the satnav. Sleep well. <coughs> the end. <coughs> Peppa Pig and a camping trip. <coughs> Peppa and her brother George are very excited. They're going on vacation. <coughs> Daddy Pig is bringing a surprise. Oh. What's that? asks Peppa when Daddy Pig arrives. It's a camper van, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, says Mummy Pig. We borrowed it for our trip. <laughs> it does everything, says Daddy Pig. This button here is for the sink. And this one is for the beds. Wow! The beds? asks Peppa. Just wait, says Daddy Pig. This camper van is full of surprises. <laughs> After a long drive, Peppa and her family arrive at the campsite. <laughs> it's time for bed, says Daddy Pig. But where will we sleep? asks Peppa. Oh. Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> and you two will sleep upstairs like you always do, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig pushes a button. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house, says Peppa. <laughs> the next morning, the sun is shining. Since we're outdoors, let's spend the day looking at nature, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> Good idea, says Daddy Pig. What should we do? Well, there's lots of fun places we can visit, said Mummy Pig. How about Duckland? Oh. What's Duckland? asked Peppa. It's a wide river full of ducks, says Mummy Pig. Bark, bark. Peppa and George love ducks. 
Let's go to Duckland, says Peppa. <laughs> When they arrive at Duckland, Miss Rabbit gives them their tickets. Enjoy the ducks, she says. <laughs> but the river is empty. Where are the ducks? asks Peppa. Maybe they're on vacation too, says Mummy Pig. Let's wait for them while we have our picnic lunch. <sighs> I don't like to wait, Mummy, says Peppa. Cheer up, Peppa. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics, says Daddy. <laughs> Look, says Peppa. It's the ducks. <coughs> there are lots of them. Wow. All the ducks' brothers and sisters are here. And aunties and uncles, I bet, too, says Peppa. <laughs> what about Granny and Grandpa ducks, asks Mummy. <laughs> They're here, too, says Peppa. The whole duck family. I love duck land. <laughs> Soon it's time to head back to the campsite. Everybody in, says Daddy Pig. I know a shortcut back to camp. Oh. A shortcut? Where are we going? <coughs> Straight ahead, says Daddy Pig. Oh. The camper van creeps towards the river's edge. But Daddy, says Peppa, <coughs> we can't drive into the water. <coughs> Don't worry, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mummy Pig pushes a button on the dashboard. Like I said, this camper van does everything. Wow! Daddy Pig drives straight into the river. The camper van has turned into a boat. Ahoy! Peppa and her family arrive back at the campsite. What will we do next? asks Peppa. <coughs> How about a nature walk? asks Mummy Pig. <coughs> Splendid idea, says Daddy Pig. <coughs> the camper van has a treadmill, of course. We'll set it up with a nice view of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa laughs. But Daddy, we can just walk through the woods. <coughs> Peppa and George love to take walks outside. They spot lots of animals. They see a bird, a grasshopper and a hedgehog. Oh. Hello, hedgehog, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and George keep walking. Look at all the sticks on the ground, says Peppa. Daddy Pig told us to collect some on our nature walk. I wonder what they're for. <coughs> we'll use them to cook our dinner, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> but first we have to pitch our tent. Tent? <coughs> asks Peppa. What about the camper van? <coughs> no camper van tonight, <coughs> says Mummy Pig. We're going to sleep under the stars instead. Wow! Everyone helps pitch the tent. <laughs> this is the same tent I had when I was a little boy, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> it looks a bit little, says Peppa. <laughs> it suited me just fine then, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, but you've grown since then, Daddy Pig, <laughs> says Mummy Pig. <laughs> and your tummy has grown most of all, Peppa giggles. <laughs> Speaking of tummies, it's time for supper, said Mummy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig builds the fire. They all eat tomato soup. Hmm. Time for bed, <laughs> says Daddy Pig. <sighs>
<sighs> Peppa and George snuggle into sleeping bags. Stars shoot across the sky above their heads. Do you miss the camper van, Peppa? Asks Mummy Pig. Oh no, says Peppa. Unless it has a button for shooting stars. They all giggle. I love camping. The end. Peppa Pig, Tiny Creatures Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig pick vegetables. Grandpa hands Peppa a lettuce. Peppa can see something sitting on the lettuce. There's a horrible monster, she snorts. That's just a little snail, says Grandpa. Grrr, monster, says George. George likes the snail. Suddenly the snail disappears. Where's he gone? asks Peppa. He's hiding in his shell, explains Grandpa. Grandpa, George and I want to be snails, says Peppa. Well, says Grandpa, these baskets can be your shells. I'm going to eat up all Grandpa Pig's lettuce, laughs Peppa. Oi, keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails, says Grandpa. And when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, giggles Peppa, I'll hide inside my little house. Monster, says George. Here are Peppa and George's friends. Can we be snails too? they ask. Well, says Grandpa, you could be something else exciting from the garden. What's that buzzing sound? asks Peppa. It's coming from that little house, says Susie. It's a bee house, explains Grandpa. It is called a hive. The bees collect nectar from the flower and then fly to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey, says Peppa. Let's pretend to be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Ha, 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 ha. What busy bees, laughs Grandpa. Granny Pig has been baking bread. Would you busy bees like some toast, she asks. Yes, please, say Peppa and her friends, with lots of honey. I like being a bee. They eat lots of lovely honey, says Susie. I like being a snail, snorts Peppa, because they eat all Grandpa's vegetables. The End Peppa Pig Peppa's Post One day, Mr. Zebra the Postman delivered a very important letter to Peppa and George's house. Look, George! cried Peppa, running to the front door. It's for us! <coughs> grunted George excitedly. I wonder what's inside. It's your tickets for Mr. Potato's Marvelous Theatre Show, said Mummy Pig, helping Peppa open the envelope. Oh, goody, gasped Peppa. I love the theatre and I love Mr. Potato. That afternoon, Mammy and Daddy Pig drove Peppa and George to the Grand Theatre to meet Madame Gazelle and their friends. When they arrived, the show was about to start. Please welcome, said a loud voice, your friend and mine, Mr. Potato. Oh, wow, the children gasped all the way through the show. After it finished, they gave Mr. Potato a huge round of applause. 
and Madame Gazelle gave everyone a special envelope to take home. Daddy Pig helped Peppa and George read their letter from Madame Gazelle. The next morning, they followed the map to playgroup. Welcome, little ones, Madame Gazelle beamed after the mummies and daddies had left. Today we will be putting on a pantomime, and there will be a special guest coming. Ooh! Everyone gasped. Now, children, continued Madame Gazelle, we have lots to do. First, we must make the posters and invitations for the pantomime. When they'd finished, everyone gave their invitations to Mr. Zebra. He raced off to deliver them. The first one was for Mummy and Daddy Pig. Mr. Zebra handed Mummy and Daddy Pig their invitation to the pantomime. How lovely, said Mummy Pig when she opened the envelope. Of course we can come. Mummy and Daddy Pig gave their reply to Mr. Zebra, and he raced off to deliver the other invitations. Later that morning, the playgroup doorbell rang. Ding dong! It was Mr. Zebra with an enormous parcel for all the children. It's a dressing up box, whispered Peppa to Susie. A very big one. Your costumes are here, my little stars, announced Madame Gazelle. The dressing up box was full of wonderful costumes. <laughs> Peppa and her friends picked their outfits and got ready. Now you must practice your lines, said Madame Gazelle. Peppa, you can start. I'm Little Red Riding Hood, began Peppa. I'm going to visit my grandma. Danny Dog was dressed as a big bad wolf. Ah! I'm going to eat Little Red Riding Hood, <laughs> he barked. Wonderful acting, Peppa and Danny said Madame Gazelle. The children were still practising when the doorbell rang again. Ding dong! It is Mr Zebra with more post, announced Madame Gazelle. The children opened the parcel and found replies to their invitations. Fabulous news, exclaimed Madame Gazelle. Everyone can come to our pantomime, even our mystery guest. Who is the mystery guest, Madame Gazelle? asked Peppa. Is it the Queen? You will have to wait and see, replied Madame Gazelle. Oh, sighed Peppa, a little disappointed. It was almost time for the pantomime to start. Everyone was arriving. Peppa peered around the curtain. She could see the mummies and daddies, but she couldn't see a mystery guest. Please find your programs and take your seats, said Madame Gazelle. Our pantomime is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, said Madame Gazelle, welcome to our pantomime. The children leapt onto the stage and everyone stood up to take photos. Click, click, flash, flash. Please, said Madame Gazelle, for the sake of the actors, no photography. The parents quietly sat back down in their chairs and the show began. I'm Little Red Riding Hood, began Peppa. I'm visiting my grandma. I'm the Big Bad Wolf, said Danny. <coughs> I'm pretending to be grandma, then I'm going to eat everyone. I'm the hunter, said Pedro. I'm chasing the big bad wolf away. Ooh! Wow! The parents gasped all the way through the performance. When the pantomime finished, the children bowed. Everyone gave them a huge round of applause, except for Mr. Zebra, who was so tired from delivering all the letters that he had fallen fast asleep. Where's the mystery guest? Peppa whispered to Susie. Just then, the clapping stopped and a loud voice said, Please welcome our special guest, your friend and mine, Mr. 
Potato. Mr. Potato is more famous than the Queen, whispered Peppa excitedly. What a marvellous performance, said Mr. Potato, leaping up from his hiding place next to the stage. This pantomime was the best I have ever seen. Hooray! Hooray! the children. They loved their pantomime, but they loved meeting Mr. Potato even more. <laughs> they Peppa Pig and the Day at Snowy Mountain <laughs> Peppa and George wake up one day and look out the window. It's snowing! <coughs> Hurrah! They can't wait to go outside. <laughs> we'll go to Snowy Mountain, says Mummy Pig. But first you have to put on your hats and coats and mittens. Peppa and George are dressed and ready to go. Wait for Daddy Pig and me, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> Snowy Mountain is fun, says Mummy Pig. We can go sledding and ice skating and skiing too. Daddy carries Peppa and George up the sledding hill. <laughs> but they don't have a sled. Peppa has an idea. Wee! She says, a daddy sled. <laughs> At the bottom of the hill is the skating rink. Wow! Let's skate, says Peppa. Peppa skates and falls and tries again. <sighs> Mummy Pig helps. Peppa is skating. Peppa helps George. He is a good skater. Everybody skates. <laughs> that was fun, says Peppa. I'm ready for skiing. <laughs> Peppa and George follow Mummy and Daddy Pig to the base of Snowy Mountain. What's that? asks Peppa. It's the ski lift, says Mummy. That's how we'll get to the top of the mountain. The ski lift takes them way up high. Oh! This is fun, says Peppa. She sings. In the air, in the chair, snow is falling everywhere. Flying high in a chair, flying high and high and high. <laughs> It's very high, says Daddy. Daddy does not like heights. Don't look down, says Mummy. But Daddy does look down. He topples out of the ski lift. Where did Daddy Pig go? There you are, Daddy, says Peppa. You're a walking, talking snow daddy. <laughs> Miss Rabbit runs a ski shop at the top of the mountain. Get your skis here, she calls. Mammy Pig, Daddy Pig, Peppa and George all get skis from Miss Rabbit. Madame Gazelle and Peppa's friends are all here. It's time to ski. Danny Dog wants to ski all the way down the mountain. Oh no, says Madame Gazelle. Today we'll stick to the baby slope. Madame Gazelle shows everyone how to push off slowly to get started. Madame Gazelle is a very good skier. Wow! She shows everyone how she can ski fast. She can even jump. Hooray! It's Mummy Pig's turn. She has not skied for a very long time, but she remembers how. She doesn't want to ski down the baby slope. Mummy Pig pushes off down the mountain. Oh. Mummy Pig remembers how to ski, but she has forgotten how to stop. <whistles> Stand back, she yells. <coughs> she speeds down the mountain and past the shops. Oh no, how will she stop? <whistles> 
Where is Mummy Pig? I see her, says Peppa. She's a walking, talking snow mummy. Skiing is fun. <laughs> Everyone agrees. <laughs> Let's go again, says Peppa. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Best Friends Once upon a time, Peppa's best friend, Susie Sheep, came to play. I have something to show you, said Susie. <coughs> Susie held up a photograph of a baby sheep. <coughs> Look, it's me, <coughs> said Susie. You're not a baby, Susie, said Peppa, shaking her head. This is an old photo, Susie explained. It was taken when I was a baby. Peppa snorted. She doesn't remember Susie being a baby. That was just silly. Susie pointed at Peppa. In the olden days, you were a baby too, she said. I don't remember being a baby, says Peppa. But you were, insisted Susie. Ask your mummy. <laughs> Peppa and Susie raced inside. Mummy Pig was working on the computer. Mummy, cried Peppa, Susie is making up stories. <laughs> no, I'm not, <laughs> Susie said. Peppa told Mummy Pig about Susie's silly idea. I don't remember being a baby, Peppa insisted. But you were a baby, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> Mummy Pig pulled up a picture of a baby pig on the computer. Who do you think this is, Peppa? <coughs> she asked. Peppa thought that the baby looked like her cousin, Baby Alexander. <coughs> is it Baby Alexander? <coughs> She asked. No, replied Mummy Pig. That's you as a baby, Peppa. Wow. Peppa was surprised. She had been a baby. Peppa and Susie giggled. <laughs> baby Peppa looked very cute. <sighs> George and Daddy Pig came in to see what all the fuss was about. Look, Daddy, <laughs> said Peppa. That's me as a baby. <laughs> I remember it, said Daddy Pig. That photo was taken on our first day in this house. <laughs> what do you mean? asked Peppa. <laughs> Daddy Pig told Peppa, Susie and George that they had moved into their house when Peppa was very little. <gasps> we brought all our things on top of our car, he said. <laughs> Mummy Pig put up some pictures, said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig put up a shelf, said Mummy Pig. And Grandpa made us a lovely flower garden. Peppa and Susie went outside. There was no flower garden at this house. Why don't we have a flower garden now? Peppa asked. We used to. But Daddy Pig looked after it, Mummy Pig sighed. <sighs> uh, said Daddy Pig, embarrassed. We had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Asked Peppa. Daddy Pig nodded. Of course, he said. <laughs> you and Susie have always been best friends. Peppa wondered what game she played with Susie when they were little. Did we jump up and down in muddy puddles? She asked. No. <laughs> Mummy Pig laughed. You were babies. You couldn't even walk yet. <coughs> what did we do when we were babies? <coughs> asked Susie. You cried. <coughs> you burped. <coughs> and you laughed, <laughs> said Mummy Pig. Susie and Peppa giggled. It must have been so silly being babies. Baby Peppa. <coughs> Baby Susie! And then you grew into toddlers, continued Mummy Pig. 
and you played together all the time. But where was George? Peppa asked. He was a baby in my tummy, said Mummy Pig. Peppa thought for a moment. Daddy Pig's tummy was even bigger than Mummy's. Is there a baby in there? she asked. No, Peppa, chuckled Daddy Pig. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> Soon, George was born, Mummy Pig said, and Granny and Grandpa Pig bought him a very special present. Can you guess what it was, Peppa? <coughs> Peppa knew just what present it had been. Mr. Dinosaur! <coughs> she cried. Grr, grr, grr. <laughs> Daddy Pig said that little Peppa and Susie liked to do everything together. They liked to jump, <coughs> dance, and run around all over the place. <laughs> Then one day, said Mummy Pig, you saw something amazing. A muddy puddle. You love jumping up and down in muddy puddles together, said Mummy Pig. I still love muddy puddles, cried Peppa. Me too, <laughs> cried Susie. Peppa, George and Susie looked for the biggest muddy puddle they could find and jumped right in. Daddy Pig brought his camera. Let's take a photo of you, Susie and George now, Peppa, he said. Yes, exclaimed Peppa, because Susie and I were best friends in the olden days and we're still best friends now. <coughs> Little or big, Peppa and Susie will always be best friends and they will always love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <coughs> the End First words with Peppa Pig <coughs> Level 3 The Scarecrow Meet Peppa, George, <coughs> Granny Pig, and Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Learn. Every fly has him, his, live, off, put, some, them, when. Read. Shed. Face. Scarecrow. Wow. Grandpa Pig is in his garden with Peppa and George. <laughs> we can plant some seeds in this soil, says Grandpa Pig. Peppa and George put every seed in the soil. Every seed will turn into a plant, says Grandpa Pig. Wow. Some birds live in Grandpa Pig's garden. What a lot of birds, says Peppa. When you plant some seeds, the birds will fly down and eat some of them. <coughs> some of them, said Grandpa Pig. The birds eat my seeds every time I put them in the soil. Fly away. The birds did not fly away. We need a plan to stop them. Grandpa Pig went to his shed. Peppa and George went with him. <laughs> Grandpa Pig has a plan, said Granny Pig. <laughs> I will stop them. When the birds see my plan, they will not want to live in my garden. Every bird will fly away when they see it said Grandpa Pig. Oh. Peppa had two sticks and George had some cloth. <laughs> they ran out of Grandpa Pig's shed and went back to his garden. Grandpa Pig put the sticks into a cross. He put the cloth on top. Wow. Will this make the birds fly away? <laughs> said Peppa. <laughs> yes, every bird will fly away when they see him said Grandpa Pig. Oh. 
Grandpa Pig has a scarecrow, said Peppa. <coughs> Peppa and George put a face on him. He has a pretty face, <coughs> said Peppa. Wow. The birds will fly away when they see him, said Grandpa Pig. <coughs> the birds did not fly away. I think they like him, said Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Granny has a plan too, said Peppa. The birds can eat some of the seeds I have put in the tree, said Granny Pig. <laughs> Granny Pig's plan has worked. Hooray! The birds ate the seeds Granny Pig had put in the tree. They did not eat Grandpa Pig's seeds. Now all of the birds in the scarecrow can live in the garden, said Peppa. <laughs> the end. First words with Peppa Pig. Level 5. The Thunderstorm. Meet Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Learn about fall, far, fool, got, laugh, light, Never, only. Read. Thunderstorm. Sky. Rain. Water. Teddy. Shoes. Tickle. Laugh. <laughs> Peppa and George were having tea in the garden. The sky was light blue and the sun was hot. Peppa, George, come in now. The sky is full of clouds. There is about to be a thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. Peppa and George ran into the house. My arms were full, so I forgot about Teddy, said Peppa. <sighs> I will get Teddy. The sky is full of clouds, but it is not far to go said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Do not get wet. The rain will fall soon, said Mummy Pig. I never get wet, said Daddy Pig. The sky was not light blue for long. Soon it was dark and the rain began to fall. Daddy Pig got wet, but he got Teddy too. It is far too wet to be out there. My shoes are full of water, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Here is Teddy. He got a bit wet, said Daddy Pig. Oh, Teddy, it was far too wet in the rain, said Peppa. It's only a bit of water, said Mummy Pig. They got a cloth and soon Teddy was not wet. Hooray! What about me? said Daddy Pig. I am far too wet. My shoes are full of water. <coughs> you said you never get wet, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> Daddy Pig began to laugh. <laughs> what are you laughing about? asked Mummy Pig. <coughs> Stop! It tickles! He said. You can laugh, but we will not stop, said Peppa. <laughs> Just then, there was a flash of light in the sky. <coughs> what was that light? asked Peppa. <coughs> it was only the thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> it was only the thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> Soon it will go far away and there will be only light blue sky left. The sky may be full of clouds and the rain may be falling out there, but we will never get wet in here, said Daddy Pig. 
a drop of water began to fall from the roof. Mummy Pig began to laugh. You said it will never get wet in here, Daddy. Daddy Pig laughed. I was wrong. <laughs> Daddy Pig got a bucket for the drop of water. Hooray! When will the sky be light blue again? Asked Peppa. Soon. Thunderstorms never last long, said Mummy Pig. Soon the thunderstorm was far away. The sun was back and the sky was light blue again. Best of all, the thunderstorm had left the garden full of mud. <laughs> Peppa laughed and jumped about in a big spot of mud. This is the only bit about thunderstorms I like, said Peppa. Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig all began to laugh. What fun! The End Hi kids! Did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more!